Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to be covering Payomi shaders. Uh, I'm not going to be covering every single thing that, sh uh, that the Payomi has to offer, but I will go over the basics and the stuff that people have asked me how it's done uh, to do with Payomi. So if you're new to Payomi or if, you, if you're not sure how some stuff work, stick around and I'm going to be covering that today. So once you have your Payomi imported, we're going to go ahead and create a material. And then we're going to switch its shader to Payomi. This is a Payomi uh, 8.0. Uh, now in this little window here, there's a few features, but I, you can either go with the outline or tune. Uh, you select the outline if you want the outline option, uh, if you want to have the outline option. So now that we have our Payomi, we're going to drag it onto this cube here. And we're going to start from the top and then basically work our way down to the bottom. So the first window is color and normals. This is where you would have your texture map and your normal map and alpha map. Um, down here, the color adjust, uh, that, is, that is if your if you have a set of textures, you can basically gray it out and basically uh, remove all the color that it is from your avatar. Other than color adjust, I am not sure what these options uh, down here do. Uh, most of you guys probably won't, uh, are not going to even use these, so most of these I'm going, going to be skipping over. So that is pretty much it uh, with color and normals. Uh, up uh, Above here is you have a rendering preset. So if we select that, you have opaque, cutout, and uh, transparent. Now, I only know opaque and cutout. Cutout you would use if you are trying to make parts of your avatar or textures transparent. And then you would uh, select this cutout area so that it basically makes the cutout parts uh, or alpha parts invisible. Now, if you're trying to make your avatar have realistic shading, then down here in shading, you are going to switch from flat to realistic. You're also going to do this if you have a normal map, if you have a height map on your avatar, uh, you need to use uh, realistic uh, lighting. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see that normal map. We're going to go over to Matcap. Now, Matcap is really cool. Uh, you have a bunch of little options here that you can drag in and basically just uh, change the look of your uh, textures and just whatever the thing or clothing, depending what you're trying to mess with. Uh, I have made a whole video based on this, but the way they work is you would drag the Matcap in this little window here and your texture mask in here, and then you have a bunch of little um, player burl uh, things that you can either make it more emissive, less emissive. Again, I have made an entire video covering this, so if you're more interested in this, uh, feel free to check it out. The rest of these we're also going to skip as you're not really going to use it. Now the outline is, uh, it says a name by itself. Uh, you, you can have an outline around your avatar, and this can make it look more uh, cartoony to say it like that. And so, yeah, you can either make it really big or really small or thick, depending how you want it. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory and that's how outlines work. Special effects. Now, special effects, you have a lot of stuff uh, that you usually mess with on your avatar. UV tile discard. I uh, don't. I have no idea what that is. Dissolve is you can make a dissolve animation. I made a video on that as well. Uh, in the newer Poyomi, you have emissions, so you have four emission masks, which is really good for, let's say, audio link. Uh, so the way emissions work, I'm pretty sure most of you know, is you would have your emission map here, you would select this area, make sure this is white, and then you can extend and make it super bright, or well, the, the, how bright you want it. Down here, however, is we have hue shift, center out, light based, blinking, and scrolling. These are basically effects of your uh, said uh, emissions. So you can either make them uh, blink or scroll. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool feature to have and you can play around with those. Next we have is glitter and sparkles. Now a lot of people uh, don't know that this is that easy to add. But as you can see, you can have glitter and sparkles on your avatar or well, your textures. And they're not as visible on this cube here. But yeah, you can see that they're there. And it's just like that simple. You just need to press this button and then you can play around with a few settings down here. Next we have is audio link. Now audio link is really cool and you probably also know about it by this point. Uh, it's basically where your emission masks can react to the world's music. And I made an entire video covering this so I don't waste your t time right now about that. 
But yeah, audio link is here if you need it. And the last thing we have is rendering. Now, this is kind of a recommend uh, or recommendation by me is whenever you if you have a hoodie or a shirt on your avatar, you might have noticed that if uh, you look at you, if you look at your shirt from the underneath, so from the inside of the shirt, it's basically see through. Uh, I assume this is for optimization purposes, but you can basically turn that off if you have the cool set to off. So this means that your uh, UV map of your uh, this means that the UV map of your hoodie is going to be basically mirrored. So then you're going to see the textures from the inside and from both outside. But that is pretty much it covering the Poyomi shaders. I know I didn't go over uh, you know a lot of stuff. But I still decided to make this uh, just in case uh, some people were new to the shader and needed it. If there is something in the Poyomi shaders that you would like me to go in a little bit more great detail, do let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I'm not going to be redoing this video. I hope that this tutorial still helped. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.